Welcome back to episode 1 of the film room. As stated previously, WBNY and BSCTV banned me because I'm discredited in media. Film doesn't lie, stats do. Be aware. My focus in this four-game episode is on EJ Manuel. Certain media members have said the Bills should move on, but I'm here to prove otherwise via film. Enjoy. First pass of the game, Bills send two wide receivers up the field to create a one-on-one -on -one match for Fred Jackson versus the linebacker. It goes for a one-yard loss because the defender reads the play and quickly pursues. Outside move gets to Henderson, and EJ really has no other option on the play. Third and eight, Sammy Watkins does a deep flag route and gets wide open after knocking down the corner. Easy read, time to wait, easy throw. Equals a 28-yard gain. Deep ball. Watkins does a sideline streak. EJ has time and delivers on the money into his hands. Brent Grimes rips it out before he can secure it. 3rd and 11 design screen. Linebacker's outside move delays the route and EJ gets hit as he throws. 3rd and 6. The pocket collapses. Fred Jackson initially blocks and then sneaks out. EJ steps up and dumps it off for a 28-yard gain. Nice diagonal running to maximize the play. 3rd and 4. Dolphins disguise the blitz and EJ isn't phased. A quick out to Watkins. Picks up the first down. 3rd and 6. 7 blitzers versus 6 blockers. The throw is low but little time to pass. Second and eight, Chris Williams and Eric Wood give up ground, but EJ still gets off a beautiful sideline throw to Scott Chandler for 22 yards. Next play had two options. Nobody open with a QB spy. EJ waits too long to scramble and has to throw it away. Third and goal at the nine. Mike Williams can't separate on the timing back shoulder fade. Incomplete. Next drive. Linebackers get sucked in on play action, and safety is looking for the deep ball. Watkins is wide open and goes for 30 yards. It's had touchdown written all over it, but Seantro Henderson loses his man, and Sammy Watkins gets bumped to the latest streak route. The result is a slightly overthrown ball. Maybe next time. On 3rd and 9, EJ is forced to make a decision quicker than he wanted and settles for the dig route. Henderson lets Wake get underneath and EJ gets hit. Watkins will gain 7. Next drive. Play action dump off to Chris Gregg goes for 14 yards. He does the rest down the sideline. Dolphins loading the box creates confusion for the Bills O-line. Routes can't develop. Pierce misses the switch assignment with Wood, and EJ gets forced into a tough throw for an incompletion. Third and eight, Sammy Watkins does a deep out. EJ stares him down, and the corner reads his eyes to make the pass break up. Third and three, Sammy Watkins does a crossing route and breaks free thanks to Scott Chandler. EJ takes a hit, but the play goes for 17 yards. Quick slant to Mike Williams is thrown slightly behind, but it is a catchable pass. Why wasn't it perfect? Look at Seantro Henderson at the point of attack. Dolphins in cover 3 here. Best way to attack in this play call is the flats. Pass is high, but Williams adjusts. 3rd and 7. Dolphins disguise blitz, and Piers lets Jackson clean up. EJ moves left. It'd be an awkward throw, so he keeps it and gets 3. 3rd quarter. Quick screen to Spiller. Woods lays the key block. Spiller goes 9 yards out of bounds. Play action pass designed for Scott Chandler doing the underneath route. He gets the first down. Bills go read option here. EJ gains 4 yards because Watkins loses his block. EJ gets nailed as a result. Watkins does a dig route here. Scott Chandler and Mike Williams clear the middle, which allows him to gain space and do the rest for the score. Fourth quarter, pressure in EJ's face, but a simple slant to Sammy Watkins goes for 9 yards. Play action screen to Robert Woods. Sammy Watkins needs to attack better when it comes to blocking. A 5-yard gain could have been more. Play action quick slant to Sammy Watkins goes for 7 yards. Hard to get away from the closing defender. 3rd and 12, design screen for Fred Jackson and Dolphins weren't fooled. EJ wisely throws into the ground. 3rd and 4, Bills call play action bootleg. Safety recognizes. Up 16, EJ dives ahead. Alright, that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed the analysis of EJ Manuel's second game. Hopefully you've learned about the importance of film study and that stats don't Tell the whole story. It's a team game based on execution. QBs get too much credit for the win and too much blame for the losses. Episode 1, EJ Manual Games 3 and 4 will be posted soon.